Hello everybody, it's Larry. Welcome to To It Too. That's no longer going to be just two minutes long, but it's not going to be real long. It'll be short tips, but again, uh, that constraint of two minutes just has me talking like I'm in the minute waltz and I don't feel like I'm covering anything. So, what we're going to talk about here is how to use census reports to get clues. So here's Larkin Daniel Brown. Now I can do a search, okay, and I'd look for the census reports for him. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I look for specifically. His birth was 1935, so the next census after he was born would be the 1940 census. So I would look for the 1940 census. Well, I found it, so rather than showing you me going through and finding it and doing a search, I think you know how to do that. If not, we'll do another video on that. But here's the 1940 census, and we're going to take a look at this, all right? Because it's going to give us some great information, more than what you just think. So what we're looking for are the parents, since he was just born, you know, five years before, we're going to look for the parents of Larkin Brown. But what we find instead is a really interesting situation. We have Sarah A. McFarlane, okay, Dolly M. Brown, which we believe to be his mother, it's a head, daughter, grandson, granddaughter, granddaughter, and then we have here Larkin uh, Daniel Brown, it's his grandson. So what we have is we have his mother, which is Dolly Brown, because it's Brown and not McFarlane, it's not the same name. Uh, we can assume that one or both are married or one of them may have gone back to the maiden name and we'll example that pretty soon. But right here we have Dolly Brown with Sarah McFarlane. Sarah is the head of household and turned in the information. You see the little notation there. So this is her daughter, which is Dolly. So now we not only have Larkin to his mother, but we have the mother to the grandmother, which is Sarah McFarlane. Now, what this looks like in our tree Okay, let's go back to our tree. So we have Dolly M. McFarlane in our tree. And that's what we had here. Dolly M. Brown, whose mother was McFarlane. And McFarlane was Sarah's. Sarah A. Taylor was her birth name. Sarah A. McFarlane was her married name. And that gives us the clues to come up in here. And then what we would do for Sarah, if we're wanting to you know, track her information, again, we go to her birth year. 1879. So we want to find Sarah Adeline Taylor uh, in 1880 census. So we're going to look in the 1880 census and we're going to see it says David Taylor and Minerva J. Taylor. Well, obviously that's a married name, Taylor. And that goes into something more than we can do at two at two, and that's how to find the maiden names. But to find the censuses, to connect them to their parents, this is what you would do, and it'll let you connect from person to either one parent or two parents generally, especially, you know, they're going to be young, under 10. Sometimes they'll be living with relatives, and living with relatives will also kind of wrap that all together for you, and that helps to get clues for that tree part. Uh, often, if it says like niece and nephew, uh, you can get the clues to the maiden names of the mothers. So... There you have it. That's two at two that went about four or five minutes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you soon.